This is gonna be big. So today, official account of Bethesda Game Studios published a simple GIF without text and only one hashtag. Please stand by. And of course, at least each fourth video game magazine already proclaimed announcement of Elder Scrolls 6 or at least Starfield. While currently, Bethesda profile on Twitch is streaming Wild Boy figurine and a TV screen with the same please stand by on it. Just in case, if you are not aware, during all past years, please stand by slogan just on a black and white background, by the way, pay attention to this, was an unofficial official teaser before Bethesda was announcing a new Fallout game, usually pretty soon after this. And the first answer, you have it already, yes, it is obvious, it is something about new Fallout, but new Fallout what? And now, just for a few moments, let's gloriously spread the winds of our fantasy and try to assume all possible scenarios, no matter how daring and ridiculous they may look. But differently from many sources that were in so a hurry to just post first random guesses without arguments, I will humbly try to explain my statement. Fallout 5 made by Obsidian Entertainment, because after beloved Fallout New Vegas, exactly Obsidian is those guys who at least most of people would like to see as a new Fallout game developers. Remaster of Fallout New Vegas, a new Fallout 4 DLC, some kind of massive expansion for Fallout Shelter, a Fallout mobile game, or a completely new mobile title. Fallout 4 for Switch, Fallout 4 VR, Fallout 4 for Toaster. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 possible scenarios, but unfortunately my Toaster is almost 10 years old, so it won't be able to handle Fallout 4 on it, and so we have 6. Oh, did I forgot something? Um, never mind. Now let's just cut the most unlikely options using simply exclusion method. I do want a miracle, but Fallout 5 is the most less like that's gonna happen. Only from already confirmed news we know that Bethesda is working on a completely new AAA game in new universe that should be huge. Besides that, they are working on a new mobile title and at least three more projects. One of these mysterious projects may be or may not be whatever is Bethesda is hinting to us now, but whatever it is, current amount of Bethesda Game Studios physical resources simply won't be even close enough to make a game with scope as something like Fallout 5. But wait, once again, how about Obsidian who may do this? Let's wait a bit. New Fallout 4 DLC, just simply and absolutely no. Already two years passed since Fallout 4 initial release. And as per Bethesda common practices, DLCs are usually coming out in approximately one year time span, one after another with some breaks, because exactly this model is usually the most profitable. To release some kind of forgotten DLC two years after, uh, no. But I am also a realist, understanding the corporate structure, where Bethesda Game Studios is the smallest studio the guys make in Skyrim. Bethesda Softworks, a parent company, makes very um, arguable stuff like Skyrim Remaster or Creation Club, and Zenimax, the chief company who ordered to make this arguable stuff. So we could and should be prepared for another milking or at least once again arguable twist. But Fallout 4 VR or Fallout 4 Switch? Both Skyrim VR and Skyrim for Switch were released not so long ago and simply releasing another VR game or Switch game, it would be just too repetitive. Moreover, see, no doubts, absolutely cool and funny and immersive, but that's hulking VR experience, remembering archery problems, that stretching meshes, a lot of once again funny but still glitches which were accepted pretty different by the community. I strongly doubt Bethesda management would like to make a bet and create such a huge hype wave now for something they are not completely sure in. 
pretty much the same argument is going to the side of possible mobile game. The amount of attention Bethesda is trying to get now would simply not fit. A mobile game announcement which is also will be definitely accepted partially by the community. So, Fallout New Vegas Remaster or Fallout 5, possibly by Obsidian. Yes, yes, I had such a high hopes on that and clearly nothing at least logical should have stopped Bethesda to order new Fallout game development to Obsidian, but just a bit later I saw this. And here everything is pretty much clear, quoting, how do you let someone down easily? Asking for a friend, it's not us which instantly means the last nail into Fallout 5 possible development coffin as well as no to Fallout New Vegas remaster that would be developed by Obsidian as remaster only by Obsidian would have sense. But I definitely forgot something. I mean, I almost forgot that almost 10 years ago, in the end of October, a Fallout 3 was released. So the 10 year Fallout 3 anniversary is close. I almost haven't noticed that today's Please Stand By GIF is looking almost literally the same as one of the main Fallout 3 posters, just in a more wide range of colors. Bringing the colors to bleak image is echoing very closely with making a remaster, keeping original style but improving overall game quality and visuals. I almost forgot that each time when Bethesda is making really big announcement it comes out really suddenly, when most of the people would likely say, oh, no, it, it can't be. What I talked about now is my thoughts mostly as player. It is something that would be really cool and logical for player. I don't want to add and will not add a word hope to this, because hope has nothing to do with corporate logic which, in turn, very often has absolutely nothing to do with gaming community most delightful desires. Personally for me, after such amount of hype that is already appearing now, what comes next from Bethesda, both as developer and publisher, will be a decent beacon for me. Beacon starting from which we will clearly see either Bethesda is still capable to make a dream or at least on of the best wishes come true or the grey line of arguably good, almost clearly milking will be continued. After this line, for me, Bethesda as collective concept will either remain Bethesda or starting clearly but slowly turning into another Electronic Arts clone, always breeding milking goals before the art of creation. But yet and still, there is an almost long forgotten but that factor of sudden Bethesda when something we all expect the less can happen. This is gonna be big. Either a big happiness or big disappointment, no middle line. But what is more interesting, what does it mean for you? What you want to see from Bethesda, what you think you will see and what you are afraid you will see. Write your thoughts about that in comments, but whatever it is, one is clear for sure. We will definitely see the answer on this E3 conference which is taking place at 12, 13 and 14 June. Please stand by.